reporting for TTN HD Production Live here at the 10th Annual Female Eye Film Festival with actor Tony Napo from Beatdown. How was it making this film? It was fantastic. Uh, the role had my name written all over it and uh, I got to be a, a, a little athletics. I was a boxer when I was a kid. I was never a wrestler. Um, and then it was kind of my dream dream job because I have a daughter who lives out in St. John's too and I was I was headed out there to spend the summer with her and so I, I got to make a movie and then hang out with my daughter for a couple of months. How did you get involved in the project? Um, I heard I think I heard of it through the Mary Lewis, the, the mother of my of my daughter, uh, I think and uh, I don't know somehow or other. It was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to do a lot of physical work to prepare for the role? For the role, yeah. Once I got the role, um, I, I well, I, I think I sent them a tape to Newfoundland, and then and then uh, Deanne and Paul Pope came and met me in Toronto, and I, somehow I, I tricked them into casting me. And uh, and once we were cast, they sent uh, Martha, myself, and Mark O'Brien to. Uh, to wrestling school basically and uh, it wasn't we weren't there I think we went for a couple of weeks a couple of a couple of uh, sessions uh, for a couple of weeks and after the first two I, I honestly couldn't uh, I couldn't get up in the morning at all every every inch of my body was sore but uh, kind of worked through that and then and then when we finally got to set and uh, and did the wrestling I think it I think it paid off it was uh, you know the uh, sort of the acty bit of the wrestling stuff was easy but the physical stuff was was pretty hard and what's your acting process like? How do you get into character? I, I just put on those tight red pants and <laughs> that pretty much is it. <laughs> and what do you have coming up in the future? Uh, not a whole lot. I've got, I've got uh, I, just, I just finished doing a year of theater. I did two shows at Cannes Stage and two at Tarragon. And uh, I'm doing a cartoon. I, I voiced the lead of a, a character called Jimmy Falcone in a mafia cartoon called Forget About It. <laughs> <laughs> which uh, premieres in September on Teletoon, and we just got picked up already for a second season. Uh, so that's that's what that's what I'm doing for sure. But just kind of reading for uh, reading for some projects now, and a couple of theater things maybe in the works uh, later in the year. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and on the film online? Um, I, I, me, I don't know. I guess Google, <laughs> <laughs> IMDb. <laughs> yeah, all that kind of stuff. But. Uh, and then the film, I think they've got Facebook and Twitter and all kinds of stuff. I, I, I hope people get to see it. I think it's a, I think it's a film that somebody, um, pretty much everyone could get something out of. Well, thank you so much, and best of luck with the film and all of your upcoming projects. Thanks, Katie. I love you. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> I'm Katie Ullman, reporting for TTNHD Production Live here at the 10th Annual Female Eye Film Festival. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs>